In our series, Minnesota Made, some of the businesses we visit have humble beginnings. Yeah, tonight it's a company that was started in a garage by a father and son with a dream. Five Eyewitness News reporter Joe Mason went to Hastings and found a business with a future in business cards, but with a strong link to the past. And this is our production facility. Walking so with Luke actually... Lingle through his Hastings card printing company. Business cards, gift cards, loyalty cards, membership cards. It's hard to imagine how far this multi-million dollar company has come in 15 years. We added about 21 more spots out here for more hires. Since Luke got the business off the ground floor. Looks good, Greg. The ground floor of this garage. You're going to hit that soft part in my heart. And the memories inside here can park more than a few tears in Luke's eyes. Miss him to death. I mean, he's, uh, he's a big part. Back then, when Luke was only 19, he made an offer most fathers would refuse. Went to my dad, said, I think we should start a plastic card company. Luke's dad not only liked the idea, he bought the first printing press and set it up in the garage of their Cottage Grove home. This is the one we started with in the garage back in 1996. With the help of his father, the company PlasticPrinters.com has grown from two to more than 40, and they're expanding again this year. We do about $7 million in sales per year, and we produce about 20 million units a year. One of the more unique jobs they've ever produced here, invitation cards for Sylvester Stallone's birthday party. We love you, Rod! Yeah, I love you, too. In case you're wondering, Luke was not invited to Rocky or Rambo's match. Don't push it, I'll give you a war you won't believe. <laughs> the rewards of hard work. And so we've got the 69 Camaro with a big block in it. Can be found in Luke's car collection. But there's one parking spot at the company no one longer parks at. Come in the building and see a sign that says Ron Lingo parking two hours because that's all we wanted him here for. It was just two hours. Last year, Luke's father Ron passed away. His memory's still here. Business may be all about the bottom line, but this one wouldn't have succeeded without the love between a father and a son. Joe Mazin, 5 by Witness News.